Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a minute and let me tell you, I am so happy to be back. Um, obviously, if you've seen my video already, I probably posted a life update video, so you should probably already know what's been going on and why I've been gone for a little bit. But everything is okay now and it's back to you guys. I missed you guys and I hope you miss me too. So, um, yeah, this is a look that I came up for you guys today. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Okay, so hello all my angel faces! So the first thing I'm going to do in this video, of course, is prime my skin. And I'm going to use my Nivea Post Men Shaving Balm and just rub that all into my skin and make sure it's applied evenly all over my face. So my hair was actually bothering me, so I'm going to put it up in a ponytail and get it out the way. And now I'm going into my foundation. I'm using the um, Naked Skin um, Beauty Balm by Urban Decay. And I'm taking this flat top foundation brush and I'm going to apply that all over my face. I'm going to conceal with my MAC Pro Concealer Palette. And I'm just highlighting underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, a little on my forehead, and my chin. I'm using the middle shade in the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit to contour with. I'll actually leave all the colors and stuff down in the description bar below, so make sure to check that out. So after I highlighted and contoured, I'm going to blend and buff everything out with this soft kind of angle brush and this kind of tapered uh, I don't even know what to call this brush, but it's like a tapered tulip kind of shape brush to um, blend out all of my little highlighted areas. I'm taking the MAC Studio Fix um, Powder in NC50, I believe, and I'm dusting that all over my face really softly, and then I'm going to set with the Ben 9 Luxury Powder in Banana. And I'm just setting that over the areas that I highlighted. Then I'm going to take my Anastasia Contour Kit and take the darkest shade in the palette and contour. I'm using this uh, tulip shape brush from Sephora. I love this brush. I contour with it all the time. It is one of my new staple brushes. I'm also going to contour alongside my nose just to make it look a little bit more slim and pronounced. Not anything too crazy. Okay, so getting to the eyes, I'm priming my eyes with this corrector from Bitch Slap Cosmetics. I always use the same one. And then I'm going to go into my Sephora collection palette. This, I believe, is not actually sold in Sephora anymore. Um, it was a part of their holiday collection, but I totally, totally love it. All the eyeshadows in there are so amazing. So I already pointed out which eyeshadow I'm using. I'm using that first kind of soft brown one and then right above I'm going to go into the darker one and deepen up my crease. Well, not my crease, but like the outer corners of my eyes. And I'm also going to go into that palette. I don't think I got a clip of it. Um, I used also a matte back, a um, matte back, a matte black eyeshadow that's also in the palette to deepen up the outer corners of my eyes as well. And now I'm just blending everything out with a soft dome brush. And for my lid, I'm going to be using this Baked Eyeshadow by Milani. I actually have a ton of these and I never ever use them and I have no idea why because they are so gorgeous. I mean, all of the shades are really, really nice and just really beautiful. I feel like if you guys can find this in your drugstore, grab a couple of them because they're really nice. Um, so I'm just going to take a flat brush and apply that all over my lid. I'm just going back into that soft brown that I used earlier to uh, deepen up my crease. Obviously, we, use a, we lose a little bit of um, color and pigmentation uh, during the whole process. Oh, I guess this is me putting in the matte black eyeshadow, so I didn't miss a clip of it. I just didn't get to that part yet. Foreshadowing! <laughs> okay, so I'm just winging out my liner, and I'm using the Kat Von D ink liner. I love this eyeliner. It's like one of my favorites. And I'm just giving myself a nice dramatic wing. Alrighty, once 
I finish cleaning up my wing liner, I'm going to apply some lashes. And I don't really remember the style. I know that these are, I believe, by Kiss. And I think they're called Oh Natural 101s. Don't quote me because I'm not even sure. It's been laying in my dresser and I've been reusing them for a little bit. So my phone doesn't shut up. But I have been reusing them. So I'm not really exactly sure on the style. But I'll try and... Um, find that and put that in the description box for you guys. Alright, once you got them lashes on, girl, I'm just gonna continue blending that eyeshadow, making sure there's no harsh lines because those things suck. And I'm going to fill in my brows using my Anastasia Brow Powder in Chocolate. I don't use pretty much any other product other than Anastasia. I'm a faithful lover. For my lower lash line, I'm just sweeping that same soft brown eyeshadow that I used from the Sephora Collection palette, and I'm using this tapered kind of soft brush to do so. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the eyes, and I'm moving back onto the face. I'm just sweeping off any excess powder from the Ben Nye Luxury Powder that I left on my face to bake. And I'm setting my brows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I'm going to apply some mascara to my top lashes and my lower lashes. And I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I have to say, this has become also one of my favorites. I'm thinking that I have to probably do another a favorites video because I have so many new favorites that I want to talk about with you guys. And I'm obsessed with this mascara. Okay, so I'm taking my blush by MAC and I'm using the shade Stubborn and I'm just sweeping that very softly across my cheek. And I'm also going to take this um, Milani eyeshadow to highlight my brow bone. I really, really, like I said, love these eyeshadows. I don't know why I haven't been using them, girl, because that highlight is everything on my brow. And I'm going to highlight my cheeks with Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. I am obsessed with this one, too. I love this highlighter. Seriously. And because Valentine's Day was coming up, I kind of wanted to do a little pinky lip, but I ended up not liking this one at all. And I changed it to this kind of nude lip and my camera cut off while I was recording what lip um, I was doing. But I am using MAC Sith Eyelines, or is it Sis? I believe it's Sis. I line my lip with a brown um, lip pencil and then I used a drugstore lip gloss on top. And that will be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the look. I love you guys so much for watching. And of course, I will see you in my next one. Later. Peace.